Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to another episode of... <coughs> or I guess welcome to another episode of Let's Replay Rabbids Go Home. So we have, uh, well, it's this is actually kind of a standard level. There's going to be a whole airport thing in this game, but most of them are going to be a little different than this one. Like, well, some of them are. His ears disappeared for a second there. Very odd. So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, we obviously we have the super boost, so the levels are going to be designed to expect us to use it. We won't have a lot of options. Now, if you go back to a previous level where you didn't have the super boost, you won't be able to use it. Just so you know, you can't, you can't use these abilities to somehow, you know, uh, manipulate the programming. Yeah, and you're supposed to obviously hit that guy as you're smashing through the boxes. It's kind of a shame we missed him. Missed him twice. There we go. Smash him against the wall, which would probably cause horrible internal damage. But, man, it's a game. He's a cartoon, essentially. It really is like playing a cartoon, now that I think about it. Yeah, and there are these crazy, like, TSA warnings. And I, I don't think there's... Obviously, they, 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 they're, they're before kind of all the stuff about TSA, but uh, they're strangely appropriate now. All right, pipe dynamic. Um, that's going to play in pretty heavily in some later levels. So I'm not sure if it plays into this one. We'll see. All right, 70 in our first split, which makes perfect sense. It's a nice round number. Finally. Yeah, now, going through this security gate opens a gate on the other side. So if you jump it, you have to go back through it to, um... Essentially, to, um... To let these dogs out. This gate will be closed if you don't uh, go through that little gate we went through first. And this jump is hard. This little area to land on, like, and you can't rub up against it and get them. You have to really, like, land on it. And then, yeah, the, we got it pretty easily, but, I mean, I did tries where, I had run-throughs where it took me, like, four or five tries to get on there. It actually made me feel rather sad and pathetic. <laughs> Like, I wasn't a master of the game. Alright, there's two guys running around in here. I don't know why I ignored them for so long, but... Yeah, you can yell at him while he's... In, once you've opened the... You've yelled the door open. You can get their stuff out of there, even without knocking them out. It's handy. I'm letting that one suffer. Like, that's that's what I'm doing there. Or maybe I just don't realize he exists. <laughs> like, I have to get it. I get a 1,000 out of this one, so. I get another 70, 75 with the gut. Did they seriously not? How did that work? Did I miss that guy? Can't be right. It can't be right. Huh. Well, whatever. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. This post-commentary, I already did what I did. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can go back. And it doesn't seem like I'm very concerned about it. In a lot of these, I did watch uh, the videos from Vote Daisy and recorded the split amounts. But it looks like that one should have been 152, but, I, uh, you know, again, I don't know. Uh, you know, unless I just missed getting him, which is possible. Alright, so now we have the, the dynamic of the pipe where we can shake the Wiimote to change the direction of these painted segments. See, otherwise you go around this one forever. And there you go, you yell, and it just 
flips it over, and there you are. This area is a little confusing. Like it's it's a little nuts, but we did the exact wrong thing, and you can still make it work. So take heart in that. Yeah, yeah, hitting this opens, obviously, lets some dogs in, so... And you need to do that. And we should have gotten all three there. That was a really nice shot at him. But, Al, uh, what are you gonna do? Meh. And uh, we've got to... I don't remember how to necessarily open that door. Uh, I think it may have to happen from above. We we're gonna have to get up there. So... And at this point, I actually was really worried about it. Was really worried about not being able to get back up there, but I think we can go back to the pipe. I think that's the answer. And there we go. That's that's the security door that opens the dog door. If the other one doesn't, that one certainly does. So now those dogs that we were wondering about, they're loose. So again. Did it just tell you to refrain from peeing during your work hours? It sounds like my job. Not really, but close. Alright. So now we get over. And those, uh, those bumpers... That's a pretty big clue that we're going to have a, a Verminator battle. And here we go. These are actual Verminators. All costumed and helmeted and stuff. And it's one of... Uh, there's only one of them, so... And that's it. I mean, if you hit them with a super boost, it, it destroys them. Yeah, later we'll get to meet some of the people who are in the Verminator costumes. Like, in cutscenes and stuff. It's kind of funny. All right, 238. Yeah, these uh, the road cones, they'll bounce you around, but now uh, these red barriers, we can pop these with the rabbit in our Wiimote. So do that, all of them, every single one of them. Yeah, the landing plane is, is pretty amazing for kind of the 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 length of game design to put it a uh, for one level there it doesn't appear in any other level this plane that harasses you when you try to cross that runway there it is the planes landing all the time which by the way this is like the most punctual airport in the world there's like a plane landing every like 30 seconds and they must really I mean air traffic control must be awesome Okay, but ba bam so now there's no going back and we have to go out on the runway But I mean unless you get hit by like the planes wheels uh, It's it's actually pretty easy to avoid it. Although I would suggest um, th This whole thing is made a little easier if you actually just super boost through uh, Joe over and over but you can't do this There's a pretty big space between the wheels and the engines that you can you can abuse because it's really hard. I mean, if you have to move back and forth, it's really... You can't really get off the runway before a plane comes. So, yeah, we just do this. There, see? Perfectly fine. And there we go. Fantastic. What are we at? All right, 86. See, I always think there's three dogs there. There's not. There's just the two. And uh, that cone in the middle will bounce you into those barriers, so pop them. I mean, obviously, we're doing this one really late. Like, we have uh, we have all of our light bulbs, so, like, this was one of the ones we went back to re-record. I had a big list. I had a list of 12 levels that I hadn't, uh, that I couldn't get by myself, that I had to do multiple, like, takes on and stuff. I mean, I had to do multiple takes on a lot of stuff, but... 
There was like 12 problems. Yeah, and he just gives us the same instructions. But you can kind of tell by my level of familiarity with the level, like what I have to do and stuff, just how good I got it, you know, like. And luckily we can just go back down in here and you kind of have to. I mean, you, I, I think you can't get these without going back in. There we go. This will take care of the three over here. And that's it. Now we can leave. Well, this and this this level actually has one of my more favorite kind of item collection things, which is air traffic control, which is coming right up. And here it is. Like, where you just run around and then these guys in chairs and you just take all their stuff. Like, if you hit him, it flies off. If you super boost through him or, like, roll through him. Ugh. There's so many of them, and they keep saying Roger over and over. Uh. It's fantastic. They should also say, uh, uh, Clearance Clarence, and, uh, what's the other? Um, Vector Victor? Yeah, I'd be all into that. Okay, so 390. We couldn't have possibly missed that guy. Because there's no way to, like, recoup those five. There's no kind of glitch we could exploit or anything. We get out of here, and there's one Verminator, and we're done. And he gives us ten. And I believe he's an all-new Verminator. One of the ones that will be the bigger pain in your butt through this game. Yeah, oh yeah, armored Verminator. You can't attack this guy from the front. You gotta sneak up behind him, and you'll see a question mark symbol, and then get him from the back. Either yell at him twice or uh, super boost him once. I mean, we'll, we're going to make it look easy. No, we're not. Never mind. See, there we go. Bam. All right. And that's it. There's our 10. So, uh, another thousand of a thousand. Wow. Can't believe I missed watching myself get that guy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.